There's a few other things to consider before you use rostering for the first time. One of those is locations, because locations define how the roster is set out. If you click on business and payroll settings, and go to locations, you're going to want to make sure that each location has been set up correctly to reflect your organization. On top of that, you want to make sure that each location has a state assigned. It's the state that determines what public holiday is shown on the roster when you're rostering your staff. Location is also important at an employee level. If you click on an employee and go to locations, what's ticked on this screen determines where the employee can be rostered. It'll also determine which employee shows your recommended employees when you're rostering at a particular location. The other thing to consider are qualifications. If you click on business and payroll settings, and then go down to qualifications, it might be worthwhile setting out qualifications and assigning those qualifications to employees. At an employee level, if you go to the employee, click qualification, and turn a qualification on, you can also include a PDF of the qualification and an expiry date if that's applicable, and click save. What that will do is filter the list of recommended employees to the employees that only have that qualification if that's something you're looking for when you're rostering on your shift. So it is a handy way to select the right employee for the right shift. After you've set up these areas, you're ready to begin using your rostering.